It's time for this week's episode of Brandon Sports Talk, featuring in-depth interviews from those who are trending in the world of athletics. And now, here's the host of Brandon Sports Talk, Brandon Pate.
Welcome back to Brandon Sports Talk. In today's episode, I have the privilege to interview the owner of the Playmakers Blog Sports Podcast. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm doing good. Can you talk about how you knew that you wanted to start a sports talk podcast? Actually, I didn't even think about a podcast that's sitting around with some friends, you know, doing our little Bible studies group. And it was like, why not just try doing the podcast? You know, you good at talking sports, you love talking sports, why not do a podcast? And I went home, thought about it, like, why not? That's so amazing. How did you know that you wanted to talk about sports and come up with the name The Playmaker Blog? I've always been a sports fan, you know, growing up. This family used to call me Mr. Sports Center because they called me for everything. What this, that was, who had this many test out. Whatever they wanted to know, whatever all sports, they called me. So I was always into the sports. And the Playmaker Block I mean, pretty much came from me being called a playmaker growing up. So in high school, it was a, it was a joke because every time I play, I made at least one play a game. So I got, so they made it the playmaker. I turned that from a joke into what it is now. So people, so most people know me as, that's playmaker. How did you know that you wanted to design your logo into having different flags as the sport? Well, when I thought about it, I thought of all the sports that I like to cover, football, basketball, and wrestling. So when, when, I'm, when I'm thinking about it, because I have a co-host named Ricky, who I co-host with on Pipe on Radio, he does he does logos, he does all that. So I was like, it might be time for a new logo. He was like, no worry, I got you covered. And that's what he came up with. That's very inspirational, because I know I saw the logo, and I was like, that's cool. What are some of the segments that you have on your podcast? Oh, man. So I have different podcasts under under the brand. So with my with my Hoops Talk, depending on what day it is, if it's a Tuesday, I'll start off with college and get to the NBA. But if it's a Friday, I'll start with the NBA and get into college. Do you have different brand? You said that you have the Hoops Talk brand under the playmaker are there any other brands that you have underneath the so, playmaker we have a hoops talk we have Ramley talk which will be coming back for season two next week we have a college football take that's coming in august me as me and my other co-host dallas glenn we do college football we get into not just not just the power five but we talk about group five as well so there's about everything in college football, every team in college football gets talked about on our show. And as far as I have another, I have another brand under me called the Bear, the Bear of Texas podcast by my friend Alex Agazar, where he does Cowboys talk, into the net LC, he does Rage Quit, getting ready to launch a new podcast called Wrestling with, with the Bear that's getting ready to come out. What was the process like of rebranding the rebranding experience and adding on new podcasts to your original podcast, the Playmakers blog. So when we first started, everything was all in one in one uh, one host, which is Anchor. As we got through year one and got through year two, okay, now let's see what can we do now. Okay, I can I can separate basketball now and have his own thing. I can separate in football in a way that we still do our college one, but now instead of me instead of me just focus on NFL and broad, I can just talk about my favorite team, the Los Angeles Rams. Of course, with having multiple podcasts, do you run into like do you always talk about basketball on the basketball podcast, or are there sometimes where you take a break? because basketball might not be in session. That's when, so the way I do it is whatever season is going on, that's the season I'm talking about. But you get to that time, time of point, we got football going on at the same time as basketball. So it depends on how I make my schedule and when do I do certain stuff. So if I know 
basketball, you can talk about basketball any day of the week, really. So I can do that Tuesday and the Fridays and then focus on football Thursday. What is something that you learned now that you didn't know before starting a podcast? So much. Uh, one thing is that you can do whatever you want with your podcast. As long as you know what you're doing and you got the people that you can talk to to help you, you can do whatever you want with your podcast. You can do make it any adjustment that you need to make to make it better. That's amazing. What advice would you give upcoming future podcasts looking to get started? Get started. Don't don't sit around and think about who and I'm gonna get a certain number of listeners or who's gonna listen to me, stuff like that. Just get started. That's it. If you want to do it, just get started. Let you just start it, launch it, and let the process dictate itself. What advice would you give upcoming people looking to rebrand their podcast that they have? If you're looking to rebrand, I would say take a step back, look at everything that's look at everything that you have accomplished up to that point, what is working for you, and what things you feel you can change before you just rebrand out of nowhere. Nor you have you have to have a game plan, not only to start, but also you have to have a game plan to rebrand it. If you don't have a game plan rebranding, you're going you gonna to mess yourself up. Of course, what are some of your future plans with the Playmakers podcast, blogs, podcast? Uh, the future right now is continues to grow. And at some point, we're going we to hopefully in the near future, we're going to start traveling, doing shows live in certain cities and, and around the world. So. Hopefully, uh, with, every, with everything that's with the world, everything coming back normal, hopefully you will probably see the Playmakers fly out in L.A. for the Super Bowl. That would be a wonderful experience. Where can my listeners find the Playmakers blog sports podcast at on social media? Playmakers blog on Facebook, Playmakers blog on Instagram, Twitter. Uh, you can also reach me, Darnell Playmaker Silence on Facebook, D20 Playmaker on Instagram and Twitter. And we, we, we just on almost every platform that you can think of. Apple, Google, Speaker, we on iHeartRadio. We just on this by the all of them. Thank you again, Darnell, for your interview and best of luck with the Playmakers blog. And thank you very much, Brandon. I enjoy being on. And good luck to you in your future. Thank you. You can find Brandon Sports Talk on Facebook at Brandon Sports Talk, Instagram at Brandon Sports Talk, Twitter at Talk underscore Brandon, and you can find me on YouTube at Brandon Sports Talk. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you again, Darnell, for your interview, and best of luck. You've been watching Brandon Sports Talk. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to Brandon Sports Talk on social media and on YouTube.